Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Poplar. My name is Yorgo and today I'm going to be showing you how to use RSS feeds on Poplar. We're going to walk through a few things. Firstly, how to connect your RSS feed to Poplar and then how to share articles from it directly to your social networks. As you know, or if you have a WordPress site on any other sites, you know that it is tiresome and it takes a lot of time when you need to copy and paste the URLs, bring them to a scheduling tool, and then schedule the articles. Instead of doing all of that, you can easily automate that process with RSS feeds. So you don't have to worry about copy pasting URLs and then scheduling them. You just do a one-time automation from the RSS feed and then you're good to go. So first, we're gonna take a look at how to connect RSS feeds to Publer. So if I go to RSS feeds, so the way I would go about adding an RSS feed is by clicking on add RSS feed here. You need to either enter the feed name, URL, and then continue with the other steps that we're going to go through in a little. So first, let's add the Publer RSS feed. Now I know what the RSS feed for Publer is, but if someone is having trouble finding their RSS feed, we're going to be attaching a link to an article underneath this video in the description. So take a look at that if you're having trouble finding your RSS feed URL. For the sake of the example, I'm actually going to show you how you can do that right now. So here we're in the blog, in Publer's blog. And if I right click and go to inspect, I will be shown this window right here on the right hand side. So what you can do is simply click Command F or Control F if you're using a Windows. And here simply search for RSS. Now this is what you're going to see here. and this little URL is what we're going to need. So simply copy that and that's the RSS feed URL. So that's all that we're going to need to add to Publer. So let's go back to Publer and here insert that. So as you can see, it has a little slash feed at the end. So that's for any WordPress sites, any sites that are hosted on WordPress, it's simply the URL of your site slash feed. Next thing would be to include a keyword. So what this would do is actually only pull articles that include a specific keyword. So let's say I want to only pull articles that are about cryptocurrency. Let's say you have a blog that talks a lot about business related things or, or anything entrepreneurial or anything blockchain. And right now you just want to focus on crypto, for example, and pull only those articles. On the other hand, if you go to exclude keywords, it would be the opposite of that. So this would pull articles that would not contain these keywords. So if I wanted to not pull articles that are related to um, real estate, I simply click, I simply choose, you know, that kind of um, keyword. So if I write here real estate and then enter, that means that all the articles that include these keywords will not be uh, pulled into Poplar. For the sake of this example, let's not have any keywords, but I just wanted to show you how you can use that. Then the next thing would be to choose an action. So do you want your RSS feed articles to post right away? So that would be out of post. Do you want them to be scheduled based on a posting schedule that you have for the specific social account? Or do you not want them to do anything at all? For now, let's just choose no action and let's add the RSS feed. Let's give it some time and then come back once the RSS feed is added into public. So we're back. As you can see, the feed is successfully added now. Here we can see all the latest articles from Publer's blog. So it's important to note that only the last 10 articles for specific blog sites will be pulled. For some others, it will be even less. For some others, it will be a little bit more. It really depends on the site. So we see all the latest articles here. So any future articles that you're creating into your WordPress site, for example, you want to publish automatically. As soon as they're pulled, they're going to be published if you choose to do that. So how you can do that is by going here to the RSS feed on Publer clicking on settings, choosing to give it an action. So if I choose auto post, that means I can choose um, to post this articles automatically. So as soon as it is posted on your WordPress site, it will also be posted on the specific social accounts that I'm going to select here. So if I select where to post and I select Facebook group, Facebook page, and let's say we also want Twitter and LinkedIn. There we go. So I choose these accounts and that's where I want to automatically post um, the RSS feed articles that get pulled into Publer. As you see here, we also have some other options. You can choose to use the article title as a caption. So the title of the article would be added as a description of the post. You can choose to also add to the caption 
the article description. So a few lines from the description will be pulled and they will be added as a caption of the post. You can choose to have neither or both, it's up to you, or just only one. I usually like to go with the article description because it gives um, readers and the audience uh, an insight on what the article is about, so it's always, always a nice thing. Then you can also choose to post these articles as links, so automatically that's the choice that's going to be chosen, they're going to be posted as links, but for example, in Facebook and Twitter or, or LinkedIn, for example, you might want to do something different this time, so you just want to post it as a photo and not as a link this time. You can choose to post these new articles as links. Keep in mind that's not going to be possible for every social network, for example, for Instagram and for Pinterest, that's not really possible because they don't support link posts. So for Instagram and for Pinterest, it will be posted as a photo and the URL will be automatically attached to the pin if this is a Pinterest account or it will be added um, as a post to the, to the link in bio page if you have connected that with Publer. If you choose post new articles as photo, um, then that means that those will be posted as photos and the URL will be added to the caption, so as part of the description of the post. That's useful, for example, if you wanted to change things up a little and post a photo in Twitter instead of posting on a link, as it would usually be. You can also choose to add a posting delay between all of the accounts. So if you want each account to post this link at a different time, like let's say two minutes, um, you can choose to have a delay of minutes, hours, days, or even weeks, that's up to you. So if I click on save, the settings will be saved, and next time, as soon as an article gets pulled into Publer, it will be automatically posted to those social networks. So now that we took a look at how you can automatically post articles from the RSS feed, through Publer to the social networks, let's take a look at how you can automatically schedule them. So if we go back to settings here, and if we go down to action, we're gonna be able to choose auto schedule. Now this is actually more useful than auto posting because it allows you to schedule these articles for a time in the future. So if you have a posting schedule ready, then you're good to go because that's all you need. And if you don't have a posting schedule for the social accounts where you want the articles to be posted, take a look at the article that we're going to link below on how to set up a posting schedule. You simply go under accounts and then choose posting schedule and add the time slots there accordingly. So let's choose a few other social networks. So let's choose to add a Pinterest account here actually. I already have a posting schedule ready for Pinterest and I already have a time slot as well with a label under the name pins. So this is what I'm going to use. Now keep in mind, in order to post to Pinterest, you would also need to have a default board ready. So if you haven't set up a default board, make sure you've done that as well. We're also gonna attach a link to how to create a default board for Pinterest underneath the video. Great, so we already know these options. We can choose to use the article title or the article description as caption. And for Pinterest, automatically this option will be chosen. So we can post this as a photo only. The same goes for Instagram. I mean, it's not possible to post them as a link due to the social network not supporting that type of post. And now what I need to do is simply click on save. This was successfully saved. So each time a new article comes into Publer, it will now be automatically scheduled for that specific time slot that I have for the specific posting schedule for Pinterest. So that's all you can do with uh, RSS feeds automatically. Um, for all the new upcoming articles. But if you have old articles here that you would like to use as well, what you can do is select them. Let's select actually these three articles. And what I want to do is share these articles. So how, how I can do that is simply by selecting them and then clicking on share articles. These articles will be automatically shared to any of the groups or pages or social accounts that I choose. So let's select only the Facebook page. And there we go, we have three different articles ready to go out for that Facebook page. I can add a label to it, I can make this a carousel post by reattaching the same link or adding another link to this, and so on. Um, while you're creating these, you can also choose to um, automatically schedule all of them with one go. So for this Facebook page, if I click on auto schedule here, I can choose to give it the weekdays label. So that means that these articles will be posted during the weekdays. There's a time slot connected to this label. Um, and I want to recycle these posts every two weeks, let's say, or maybe every two months, why not? And I also want to apply this to all posts. So that means that all the other three articles as well will be having the same settings that I selected here. 
So if I click on save, we'll see that all these posts are going to recycle, as you can see. So if I go to submit, that means that these posts will be recycled and added to the Facebook page Recycling Cube. So there is one way you can manually schedule your old articles. You can also schedule them one by one by clicking on the little share icon here. So that's going to lead you to the create page again and then give you the option to share this. You can also delete the article. So let's say I already used this article, so I don't want to see it and I don't want to know that it is used or not. I just want to delete it. So if I click on delete, I confirm that I want to delete this article and it will be permanently removed from the RSS feed here. Um, you can also filter articles by usage. So you can choose to see all items. You can choose to see only the used items, only the used articles. And you can choose to see the unused ones if you want to post them in the future. Something else you need to keep in mind with the RSS feeds is that they will sync automatically when once you've added them to Publer. So let's suppose that you are creating articles for your WordPress site and you're posting them every week. So that means that the RSS feed will be automatically synced at least once a day. But if you're posting every day, so if you're posting tons of articles every day, then it will be synced every five minutes or so. So it really depends on how frequently you post articles. If you see that an article is missing, you simply go to the feed here and click on hard sync and then confirm. I would otherwise be able to sync articles if they were any recently articles that weren't synced. But in this case, everything is synced because we just added the RSS feed. I can also choose to delete this feed. So if I go to the X here, I can delete the feed and then I can add another one in the future. So, so you can add as many feeds as you want and you don't have to add only your feeds. You can add other feeds as well. As long as you have permission to add a feed, you can go right ahead and add that into Publer, pull those articles and then share them to the social accounts by giving the proper credit, of course. So that's all there is to know about RSS feeds on Publer. Thank you for joining me in this video tutorial today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below and we'll make sure to answer them as soon as possible. Again, we will be attaching some guides that you might find useful that I also mentioned during the video in the description of the video. So take a look at those if you need help. Thank you so much. Bye.